Welcome back to Factorio MSX Gigabase. Um, I am standing at the lower southern part of the perimeter near the disconnected lake. I have just set up a uh, new train stop and called the landfill train. It's a little bit of time away, but it's on its way. Uh, that will enable us to punch through to over here and connect the inner perimeter. Um, and then we can back landfill, um, well, pretty much all of this, and we may end up doing a significant amount of this as well. There's a hell of a lot of landfill to do, in fact. Um, but while we're waiting for the landfill train, uh, at the end of last episode, at the Make Everything factory, I was calculating out the science. Um, I'm sparing you all the rest of the calculations, but I have kind of finished the exercise. Um, red science for 6,000 is pretty trivial. Uh, blue science, I'll be making the um, mining, electric mining drills uh, locally with the blue science. And that adds up to 121, which is basically going to just be two stacks. Uh, purple science, one stack, everything will be made externally, so that includes the um, uh, electric furnaces. Uh, blue science, we ba oh sorry, yellow, <laughs> blue. Color blind, we've just done blue. Uh, yellow science, we will just, um, the copper cable, um, basically in the time it takes, so let's just have a look at the formula for that just briefly. Uh, 14 seconds um, per iteration, and you need 30 copper cable in each iteration. Well, in 14 seconds, copper cable will give you 28, but with productivity modules, it will actually give you uh, an extra 40% on the 28. Um, 28 times 1.4, you'll actually get 39. So you'll, there is enough in a one-to-one. -one. Um, I was looking at a lower ratio to make the advantage of the fact that there's actually 39 rather than just 30. But it's not going to work. I'm basically going to do uh, yellow science somewhat like this. So uh, a copper cable machine will use belt. And our final end design, we'll be using belt. There you go. Uh, can't get away from belt even in a uh, highly tuned bot factory. So, um, and this one may or may not need all of these. We'll see. It may not need them all. Um, but anyway, the belt feeds through to, so one copper cable feeds directly through to a yellow. I don't have room to actually feed it anywhere else. Um, possibly I could feed down, but it's kind of not really going to work, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to do one-to-one. -one. That's the easiest way of doing it. And military science, I was just finding a um, ratio that... Um, kind of fitted into our sort of stack sizes. So what have we got there? Uh, 66. Um, it, it doesn't produce the 6,000 a minute. It doesn't need to. Military science, we've got artillery. Uh, we have the artillery upgrades. Um, and then probably ignore um, military. Um, I'm not really sure there's anything else that really makes a huge amount of sense for us. Probably just these two. This one we'll ignore unless we struggle to get to our 60 UPS. Um, and I might even disinstall it if we get there and stay there fairly easily. Uh, okay, so I do believe that is our signal. The um, landfill train is here. Let's dump this wood and the extra one we're about to be given. and commence project um, hookup. Sounds like a dating service. <laughs> oh dear. The date is probably very much on your mind if you were stuck on this nasty little alien planet all by yourself. Oh, I've already used a little bit of you up by the um, solar panels, which I'll just give you a quick update on that. We're up to 553,000, um, which is very good. 550,000. Um, there's the maximum scroll of the window now. Um, I am going to have to sort of backfill through all of these bits 
and skirt round the big patches in case I need them just to partly just to highlight them actually that they're there holy jeepers <laughs> 179 stone oh dear oh dear and another 80 here so I do need a um, decent stone patch for um, building the electric furnace setup um, this one here 4.6 this landfill 2 is um, fairly quickly fading but we've got landfill three that uh, can take up the slack, so we should be fine. All right, um, landfill time. Let's go back first of all to. Um, oh, I'm in calculate. That's why my numpad key wasn't working. Uh, this is the first bit that we need to get sorted, and then. Um, The first, the most important thing initially is to be able to um, connect the lines and then the backfill of the rest of it is kind of a uh, secondary consideration. So um, this is certainly a very big ocean complex. In fact, are we even going to make it? Oh well, let's keep going. Yes, that is a significant ocean complex. We could potentially use this for the um, second oil. I was thinking of going over here. I might still go over here. I'm not decided on that. Um, by the second oil, I mean um, the uh, rocket fuel um, oil. Because, as I mentioned in a prior episode, we've got a uh, heavy plastic build oil uh, at the moment, and I want to create a heavy... Uh, rocket fuel version so that uh, the two can kind of create an equilibrium based on whatever happens to be most highly in demand in the factory at a given point in time. So if one is uh, heavy rocket fuel and one is heavy um, plastic, I think whatever is being drawn on um, will end up getting favoured just because the one that can't supply um, will kind of stop and all of the trains will have to come from the other source and in that way you'll create a bit of an equilibrium. As long as your total output is sufficient to um, meet the maximum demand that you're getting from either source. And that is probably the tricky bit. Now, um, this extra no shortage of tiny water features along here that we are going to need to fill in, but it might pay to um, get the trains moved over to here first. So uh, let's just um, head back. We know we're going to have to fill this bit of land in as well on our way. But uh, this is going to be more interesting than just filling in a lake. Um, we are going to connect the main lines and maybe even measure out where we are potentially going to want to put our science. Well, I know where we want to put our science, it's basically where this big lake is, but um, right, let me just grab these guys up got 5,000 left, so we don't have much landfill left. Uh, let me put the building um, configuration on. Don't have much rail, let's grab some more rail. Um, I am carrying all sorts of... oh, that's full of wood. Uh, that's full of, well, it's not that full of wood. 
Um, let's just get rid of that for the moment. Turn that off so that we can move the wood over. Right, back to here. Um, I want that. I want to come to here. Now, um, I don't need those. I don't need labs. I don't need oil refineries. Uh, even if I grab these things back afterwards. I don't need those for sure. Uh, what else? What else is redundant? I don't need mining drills right now. So that just means I can store a few more rail. Right, now let's get going. Okay, at this point... just fix up these minor issues. Jump back on board our engineering train. And hopefully we are wide enough for our 4x4 four four pattern. By just going backwards. What? Ah. Okay, you don't just grab a random book. You find good rail, and then you roll through that. That's a little bit more productive. There we go. I didn't actually check my signal stocks, so... Fortunately, you can't really check them while you do this. From an um, embarked position. But that worked reasonably well, so let's keep on rolling we run out of something, I'm sure we will be able to grab more at that point. Like rail, rather. When we run out of rail, we'll be able to grab more of anything else that we're out of. The strange thing about this game is having faster bots would be really nice for all of this construction. But by the time we're in a position to be researching all of that faster bot speed, a lot of the construction will be done. Not all, because we need to build all the uh, late end um, SpaceX components um, to a volume that um, will get them done reasonably, but um, still, it would be really nice to have the faster bots now. Getting low on rail. Ah, there we go. Uh, what else are we? We've got chains, we've got big poles, we've got lamps. We actually have everything at the moment, but we are almost out of rail. But we've almost crossed this little divide as well, so that's good. And that goes the rest of our rail. This side. Uh, you have three bits of rail. I didn't mean to pick you up. You have tons of rail, or had tons of rail. Um, some lamps would be nice, as would some more of those. Grab those sick whips, those are my signals. I need some signals on this side. Um, I think I just transferred the lamps to the wrong direction, and likewise those guys. Right, let's just grab a few of those, and um, carry on. landfill train over here very shortly. We're going to 
have to start attacking the tree collection as well. Um, we still have a bit of distance to go. Let's start with um, a little bit of tree clearance. It certainly does work more efficiently if the trees are kind of pre-removed. Slap some more of those down. Oh, no, that's right, we've already filled up auto trash, haven't we? While they do that, I'll just have a quick sip of my drink. some water there. Must be. Alright. Uh, is there room in you? There is. as far as we can. Should be about there. Clear the last few trees and we need landfill all the way up here. So what we do is uh, create a station. Let's call this one landfill perimeter 2. Actually let's just call it landfill perimeter. No, let's call it landfall. Sorry, let's call it landfall perimeter 2. Um, that will make more sense in the end. This guy, I want you to go to landfill perimeter 2. Until inventory empty and come now, please. Right. So that will drive the train up to here. Uh, we'll give it an exit and we'll then grab its remaining landfill. I think think, uh, is it here or is it here? Right, it's back here. Um, actually, let us get rid of landfill north and landfill perimeter so that it will ref refuel and come to us. There we go. That will enable it to go as soon as we pick up the remaining landfill. Uh, let's drop non-essential items in here. Going to need room for 5,000 landfills, so that should do. There we go. Let me just see if I can... Um, can. Right, now, um, landfill over this bit. We need to be up to about there. Of course I've got the wrong legs in at the moment for doing landfill, but we're not going far. Do I have enough to get back? I have my doubts. But in fact, it looks like we do. So it is possible. No, I think we're going to need landfill along here as well. Still, um, that wasn't bad. Uh, I'm going to transfer the landfill in there. Pick up this guy. Jump back on board and um, let's get back to rail lay laying. We may even have to move perimeter two. Which we'll definitely do if we're fast enough. Uh, let us create a bit of a hole up there. And punch on through. And keep that going all the way through there. Um, 
It's when you're drilling through trees that your bots really notice the pain. Yeah, there we go. We are pretty close to out of rail and um, full on trees. Do you have room? You do. Very good. And you also have room. Very good. What about you? You've got some rails that we can take. And you can have some trees in return. What a bargain. Oop. So this is where we are going to run out of our rail. Let's just lay that down. I actually think we might even need to re um, uh, reset the engineering train. Right, let us put a station all the way down here. This one can be the new uh, landfill perimeter 2. Does that work? No, never mind. Landfill perimeter. Actually, maybe that will just be landfill perimeter and I'll get rid of both the other two landfill perimeters while we're about it. Give me back my legs. Um, did I direct the other one to landfill perimeter two? Yes, I did. Uh, Alright, that's fine. Back up. Oop. Yeah, we've got all that stuff, that's fine. Back up to here. Uh, this train, you can instead go to landfill perimeter. Uh, until inventory empty. Get rid of that. Get rid of the other landfill perimeter. That's our extra landfill. Shouldn't be any trains coming along here at the moment because it goes nowhere. There we go, we got there in time. Now, um, we need to get to engineering unload, I think, because we are down, oh, we've got 1100. But we may as well, while we're waiting, go, whoops, oh, of course we can't, um, stay manual uh, until we get to a point where we can actually head to engineering unload. Just have to be a little bit careful when we finally get to an intersection as we are now. Just in case something's coming, have a look, nothing is. Here we go. Now we are Gucci, as they say, to go to engineering unload and restock. So uh, what I might do is, uh, and there's the uh, landfill train. It should be completely full. Um, in fact, let's... Oh, I don't have a radar down here, so you can't see. Um, what I'll do is I will uh, pause the recording and rejoin you back at um, the end of the landfill train once we are ready. See you shortly. Oops. And back, and just grabbing up this um, spare landfill so it doesn't go to waste. Not that we have a shortage of well, any resources once you go out far enough. Um, the multiplier that I used in this map was probably uh, slightly aggressive. Um, I can't remember what it was in comparison to the normal. I don't think I turned it up all that much, but I must have turned it up a little bit. And um, yeah, it's it's probably created patches that. Uh, I mean, you've got to go a fair way to get them, and I was concerned at first when I was building my original factory before any of this uh, started getting recorded. 
um, the starter base, whether um, I would in fact, you know, find something in a reasonable space. It um, was reasonably hard to find the first stuff, so that part of it was probably good. It's just we may have, um, now that we were out as far as we are, we might have um, had the benefit of a slightly greater multiplier than we really needed. Anyway, that's by and by. That's probably all I need to do the initial connection. Come on trees, you're about to be shotgunned. That's what happens to all trees that defy me. Now, um, let's just return the unused landfill for now. It will get used soon enough. Grab our stuff. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. Um, uh. Explosion. carrying all of these electronic circuits. They do occasionally uh, end up having a use, but um, that occasion is um, not right at the second when you've just swapped your armor out accidentally. Right, um, let's push through. I basically just want to get the connection done, and then between episodes I'll do a bunch of additional landfill. Now the actual thing that I wanted to do was a right click, so that I could swap those over and get... Oh, we needed a little bit more landfill it would seem. I'd repaired all of those glitches, but perhaps I had not. Um, here we go, and while we're about it, let's grab uh, signals and rail, and um, this thing actually goes off quite often, even though we're not building all that much, I suppose we are mining 3,000 a minute or so, I guess it's something. Where is it this time? It is at Iron 12. Which probably means if you look around you should be able to find somewhere where there's um, sparse mining. Anyway, what we want to do is grab our pattern, see if we can get it to connect up. Doesn't if we move it one over. Uh, what about here? I might even... Um, are we one t oh, oh, we're actually only one space away. Well, I mean that's kind of okay, because it's the number of miners. Yeah, we'll just do that, that's fine. And eventually this will um, deploy those and we'll be able to carry on without that annoying noise that we created, of course, so... We can't get too upset with the noise. The upsetting thing is just how long it takes, and I'm, I'm guessing it's because the construction manager queues up all of the solar building that we're doing at the moment, which, incidentally, we've done 3,000 since we started this episode, so you can see how fast we are progressing. No sign of that slowing down anytime soon. We still have a lot to do. Oh, another patch that was missing. Uh, let's get that blueprint back. Now, we must be pretty close to combining these two. run up 
Tía. And find our four way corner. Which is that. Uh, needs to go over one. not going to quite connect up here, but never mind. I've never worried about that sort of thing too much. Now, I do want the wires to continue. They probably find their way, like this one finds its way all the way around that way, and this one the other way, but um, just in case, it is probably better that they loop around. There we go. Um, and we have one segment here. Um, come on, construction bots. Be nice if you treated the separate networks as separate in your construction manager, but never mind. I guess you'll get there eventually. You're so busy letting people do it all on personal bots, you don't use the built-in construction facilities features to the degree they should be. Anyway guys, um, this will eventually stop. It does get there eventually. Uh, it just takes a while. Um, let's have a look at the main map. You can see the external perimeter is now a complete circuit. Circuits aren't necessarily ideal because trains start doing silly things. Hopefully our trains um, are going to be less likely to do it. Well, certainly the ore trains can't do silly things because they're, um, aside from the ones cleaning up the interior here, they're largely forced to the outer areas. And actually, this is interesting. This iron is getting kind of close to depleting relative to what that was. That one is as well. And this one also kind of low. So we may be able to close off some more of the iron in the interior here soon, which is good. It'd be nice to get rid of this copper, um, get rid of all of this stuff other than the oil. Not exactly sure what I'm going to be able to do with the room, but um, because this is not moving. Um, but anyway, we now have our connected space, it is now possible to start deploying um, our science and the idea with science is we will have some of the science built up here, we'll have the actual labs in this middle part, we'll have the rest of the science built here, the science will just feed in to the labs and the labs will consume the science and um, rockets will take off over here and uh, everything will be hunky-dory, that's how it's going to work. Uh, thanks for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time when we can put some more of this into effect. See you then, guys. Bye-bye for now.